right has um, on the right side it has the superior top middle bottom middle and then inferior so that's four and then it has three on the other side but I'll show you those when we get to it um, just so you know for the practicum I don't think they do this but if they were to put a pin here this is just where the instructor slashed through when we cut the ribs because um, we had to use a saw to saw them open um, so this would be superior and this bottom one would, is inferior and you can see that there's a natural um, separation you guys want to see it it's just they separate very easily so this up here is superior this would be inferior cool So this part up here, you see has it, how it has this natural separation? Everybody all right? <laughs> all right. For the right, this part here, there's like an, a natural separation. This is the superior, just this part here. Okay? So you see how it separates mm -hmm. nicely? That's how it does it naturally. This then would be... Superior, <laughs> middle, inferior. Okay, inferior actually wraps around the whole back. So it's a lot bigger than the other two pieces. So superior, inferior, sorry. Superior, middle, inferior. Cool? Why are they so small? Just because she's old. She's old. Um, the cardiac notch, that's this piece here. So it's on the superior part. And it's like a natural, um, it naturally goes like this. So this is where the heart is. This right here is the heart, and it sits on the left side of the lung, on the inner piece. Okay? So we need to know the cardiac notch. Um, the membranes, this um, kind of brownish colored stuff on the top. If you can get a piece. This stuff? I don't know how many of you can see okay. that, but that lining on it, that's the visceral pleura. The, um, the parietal pleura, that would be on the actual rib cage lining this. So this is, I don't want to say that that's the, uh, so this would be the parietal pleura Can you lining show me? on the inside. It's just the lining on the oh. inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when this is in full, in fully intact, the parietal pleura and the visceral pleura are very close together. The only thing that's separating them is a thin layer of fluid. Why do you think that's important? For these friction. Yes. The yeah. If there's a liquid um, media between, they're able to move against each other smoothly. If that fluid isn't there, it scrapes. Isn't okay. that some kind of itis? I I'm sure it is. Like, with the, like, the fluid between it goes away or something, would that be, like, very painful? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you probably wouldn't make it very long, even with um, help, because still, the problem is that there's too much friction at that point, and, yeah, it, it, you wouldn't be very comfortable very long. You'd, you'd go pretty quickly. Um, also, um, have you guys ever seen Law Abiding, Abiding Citizen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember the part where he stabbed her and he stabbed, like, up? What he did was puncture through all this, went through the parietal pleura and the visceral pleura. Once there is that um, a hole in there, everything collapses, so you suffocate. Okay, so just um, don't do that. Good to know. Yeah, because he went up, anybody. so that's not necessarily saying that he just hit the lung. Um, he probably hit that lining, which if he was a good cook, he probably knew what he was doing, and that will collapse, and there's no sign of. Um, damage to the lung itself, necessarily. Um, when you're strangled, sorry, I have to relate all this to crime, but whenever you're strangled, this hyoid bone here on the skeleton, it's shown here as it's actually on the vertebrae, but in real life it's suspended by itself. It's not connected to any part of the skeleton. It's just um, held on by ligaments and muscles, okay? But when you're strangled, when somebody strangles you, that is entirely collapsed. It breaks. Okay, so that's how they can tell whether somebody's been strangled or not. 
-hmm. And it takes a lot of pressure to actually shank somebody. What else do you need to know? Oh, last part. This lining right here, so this on this side and this piece here, that's the diaphragm. So that would come along the whole way like this. So it separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions? Okay. You guys want me to put her away now? Yeah. Talk to the guy. <laughs> I don't think we want to hang.